Hey everyone, I'm Armor Gaming. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to Monster Legends. So, as many of you know, I'm a hoarder. I'm pretty darn good at not opening things. I'm pretty good at keeping all of my chests pretty much intact and not even touching them. Even if I have really good ones. As you can see, I have a diamond relic here, diamond relic chest. I have another diamond relic chest right here. And it's just, I don't know, I just, I don't really have a reason to open them. Although at the same time, I really don't have a reason not to open them. But typically, what I like to do when I open up the diamond relic chest or any other chest is I like to wait for the time when there's a relic boost which there is right now but that isn't the purpose of this video the purpose of this video is to talk about the special chests for example the wasteland day chest low sting or the high sting or the inquisitor foreman one because it's come to my attention that I haven't opened these and I'm like wait why not I might as well I, I could potentially get a monster so let's do it so that's what this video is going to be and I don't anticipate it being too long since it's just opening chests and seeing what I get. So normally I'd like to do my main account then my baby account. And for some reason I always get super lucky in my baby account. So I'm kind of going to I'm gonna flip it and I'm going to do my baby account first and then my main account. And maybe I'll be luckier on my main account since I'm doing it second. So hopefully that works. Who knows. We'll start with last, last uh, events chest. Sting Westclaw. Can I get him in the low sting chest? Let's find out. I am getting a single rare monster. Oh, a chest within a chest? I was like, wait, what? What is this? Chestception? Alright, well, let's at least find out what that single rare monster is. And drum roll, please. It is Luck Rock. So, not a Sting Westclaw. Let's open up the high. The high sting. So it contains one epic monster or a higher chance to get Westclaw. So, drumroll please. I should really add in the effect, but I'm not going to. I'm sorry, guys. Single epic monster. Okay, well, maybe it'll be a good single epic monster. Let's find out. It is a... iPug. Cute, but not an Atlas, not an Ophiuchus. It's okay. Let's see if I'm better with Inquisitor Foreman. Inquisitor Foreman, everyone. Contains one rare or epic or low chance of getting Inquisitor Foreman. Well, let's see if I get him and I got a Trevor. Oh, so they, they stopped with the Chestception thing. So no more chest within a chest. Let's see the Dawn of Inquisitor number two. Will I get Inquisitor Foreman on this chest? And I got a Cold Burris. So yeah, didn't get anything. But like I said, that typically happens. One account, I get really good pulls. Did they count not so good pulls? So let's see if I'm any luckier on my main account. And as usual, we'll start with the previous chest, which is... I don't even know which it is. Let's see. Rune chest. Ah, uh, there it is. Low sting. Oh, I even have the one from the Baroness. Oh my goodness. What am I doing? <laughs> I think this one was older, right? So let's start with the Baroness chest. Let's see what I get. A Voldray. Okay. So maybe that one's newer, actually, because it's not doing the chest within the chest. Uh, let's just go through all the low chests. Here's the Inquisitor Foreman chest. And Luck Rock. Okay, nothing good so far. The Westclaw Low Sting chest. And a single rare monster. I'm not even going to open it, to be honest. I'm just going to leave it as another chest that just accumulates. Alright, let's get the High Sting Westclaw chest and see what I get on there. And it is a single epic monster. I'm just going to leave that untouched. Alright, let's see this Baroness chest number two. It is a Shamroku. So, he's a decent epic. I like him. Let's see. Master of Paths second chest. Silver Relic. Ooh! Look at this fancy one. Contains one legendary or epic. Let's do that one. The Wasteland number three. It is a Count Vlad. Hey, at least I got a legendary. Not a Baroness, but at least it's a legendary. I'll take that. Cool. Another Gold Slave. <laughs> Let's see. Legendary Overlords. Uh, legendary Overlords. Uh, keep going. Keep going. Oh, right here. Inquisitor. Number two for Fullman. Oh, wait. And then the Celebrity. Oh, this is it. I thought I had another one. Oh, no. I think Fullman is just two chests. And then Lady Solaris, I can get up to three chests. Where one's a guaranteed legendary. I got a T Shire. So let's just get this Lady Solaris chest. And let's see what I get on here. 
Uh, Crushmore and something foul. Wow. So, as you can see, no Westclaw, no Baroness, no Solaris, no Fulman. I did, however, get a Count Vlad, so... Eh, I guess it's alright. Since we're at it, we might as well open some of these uh, Relic Reward Chests. So, let's do the Silvers. Major Healing Essence, I'm gonna keep that. That is not Fusion Material. Uh, Earth Shaking Sword, that is Fusion Material. Let's see what else I get. Ice Breaking Sword, that is Fusion Material. Thank you very much. Energy Mask, that is not Fusion Material. I actually like the Energy Mask. Major Regen Essence, when the wearer dies, that is Fusion Material for me. Uh, Major Vitality Essence, I actually like these. In, if ever there's a rare war or an epic war, it helps to keep my monster alive. Let's see, Silver Relic, Major Regen, again, that is actually going to be Fusion Material. Well, at least once I rank up one all the way, because then it's Fusion Material. Cold Armor, I have no use for this. Thank you for the fusion material. That's kind of one thing I like about chests or, or relics. I've said this before. Even if you get like a quote unquote crappy relic, it doesn't matter because it's fusion material and that crappy reward just goes to a better reward or a better relic. So it's fine. I am getting a lot of major essence. Wow. So I'm definitely going to be maxing one out today if I don't already have one max maxed. Jainer staff. Um, let's see. I, I'm hoping when I open those gold. I get a healing mask because I still do not have one on this account and I just got one on my baby account and I'm like how all of these years playing Monster Legends I don't have a healing mask? Ooh, Spirit's Trap. Ooh, Fusion Material, although I also like to give it to Haxter, but we'll see. Fusion or, or Haxter, we'll see. Um, Let's see, Furious Banner, I hate all the banners, all the silver banners at least. So that is Fusion Material. Pesty Trap, cool. I love Pesty Trap. That is not Fusion Material. I'm going to be keeping that. And more Fusion Material. So now for the gold chests. Let's see what I get. Drum roll, please. I am getting Exhausting Mask. Well, it was a mask, just not the one I wanted. <laughs> All right, come on. Healing Mask, Healing Mask, Healing Mask. Uh, whoa, actually, I'm not upset. Finally, a golden sword. I have been waiting for a sword I can use for my monsters because my monster did not have a good sword. And this one, the Ice Breaking Great Sword, after hitting if the target is frozen or stunned, the wearer is given 9,650 points of armor and physical protection. I actually like this. I actually will be utilizing this. So I'm actually kind of grateful. Um, do I want to open up the diamond or do I want to save it for a live stream? I think I will save it for a live stream. So with that being said, let's just talk about the fusing relics since it is a thing right now. So this this video ended up being a little more than I anticipated, but that'll be completely fine because it's all for knowledge, right? So we'll go to the reliquary and these are all my relics I have right now. As you can see, I got a bunch of these and this is actually useful. So let me show you this. When you level up right now, you get an extra 20% boost. So make sure to capitalize on it. But I want to show you this interesting thing. When you fuse a relic that's not its the, the same relic, as you can see, this is the major regen essence. And this is the major healing essence. They are not the same relic. I get 1200 points, right? But when you fuse it with itself, with its own individual relic, check this out. 2412, you double the amount of experience. So I highly recommend you always wait for a relic boost to get 20% more. And you always fuse it with itself to get 100% more. It is This is the best time to fuse relics. So make sure to go out there and fuse your good relics. And then, gosh, now I gotta... Soldier Point, if you're watching this, please make it so easy to remove all relics at the same time. That would that would help me out so much. That would help out all these players so much. We have a Team Battlegrounds going on, so we really need it. Or it's gonna be happening soon. Um, so I like to look through all my relics and empty them all out to make sure I know what I need to capitalize and level up. I feel like I'm missing some. Where are they? Oh, there's some right there. So look, maybe if I didn't know that Totem was holding this amulet, maybe I would have forgotten to level it up. So let me make sure I get all of my relics. Maybe I need to upgrade a Tomb's armor. Maybe there's a staff over here, that, the regeneration staff or some staff that I need to level up. Uh, any banners? I think my charging banner is not maxed out, but I don't need it maxed out. My tenacity shields, maybe I should focus on getting them closer to each other one's at 36 one's at 20 um i think that was all for essence right okay good so 
I think all my relics are finally removed. So now I can go into my reliquary and actually level up the one I want to level up. And look, I have one, whoops, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight diamond, nine with the one in storage. So that's not bad. Not bad at all. All right, let's go here and let's see. What do I want to upgrade? So this, this energy mask is maxed out. I have another one that I'm working on. So let me level up because I do believe I got another one. I think having two will be useful. So check this out. I could use this level 30 and it'll only give me 2,844 experience. 2,844 for a level 30. When I could instead use this level one same relic and it gives me 2,400. Insane. And it goes up to level 17. That is super useful. Thank you very much. So first do all of the replicas, all of the doubles. Um, let's see. Here is that, oops, where is it? Here is that major regen that I don't really like, but I think it's useful to have one relic of every kind, at least maxed out, or just to use. You never know when it could come in handy. So I'm actually going to, rather than use these for another relic, I'm just going to slowly get one major regen essence maxed out all the way. So we'll use it for this. Awesome. So it is now level 25. All right, let's see what else. This pesty is at level 20. And then I'm pretty sure I have another pestilence shop somewhere. So I'm going to keep, in case I don't, I'm going to keep this. Um, spirits trap. I know I have another spirits trap. It's probably on Haxter. Ah, this is annoying when relics are everywhere. Healing amulet. I honestly feel like I can never have too many. I want to get another one. Uh, let's see. Let's see. This drainer staff is level 22. This drainer staff is level 15. So let me go ahead and just get that new drainer staff and use it. What I like about the staffs, especially like in the Nemesis Survival Dungeon, they actually came in handy to drain enemy stamina. So I definitely want to utilize this or like the, the exhausting mask and the the exhausting mask and stamina draining stamina draining type relics are just really useful. I also wish we could lock certain relics so we don't accidentally use them. But I mean, if you're being slow and careful, you shouldn't accidentally do it. But it's just be nice to have a lock option. Um, where's that level one? Maybe organizing by type would be nice too. And that jumps it up to level 23. I'll take it. Thank you very much. All right. Let's see. What else do I want to do? So now I can do the fusion material. I want to level up. What do I want to level up? This tenacity shield? This one? That one? That one? Once you're at level 36, look at... This does like nothing. It does nothing to you. Look at this. Gosh, darn, I need so much experience. Alright, so I don't even care too much for it. Let's see. What do I want to level up? Hmm, let's see. This is actually useful for like my Necromancer. Any monster that needs... That needs... Even I think Ragnarok can hold it and it's pretty useful. Um... Like I said, the exhausting mask really helped in the survival dungeon. So maybe having two of them could be really useful. Let's see. What do I need? Like I said, all lots of these silver are fusion materials. So I love them because I could just use them all the time. Um, ooh. Maybe this could almost max out. Let's see. There's a level one. It's now level 27. And let's see if I do this and this and this. And this, and this, and this, and this. Wow, that would be close to level 30, but I'm not going to do that. So I'll be happy with level 27 because I remembered what I wanted to do. I wanted to level up my great sword because I mentioned to you guys, I don't have a good sword relic, to be honest. So that's where this is going to go to. Get my sword relic leveled up. So bye-bye all of this stuff that I don't really care for. This could really go to Haxer, but... I think it's I get more benefit out of my sword. Um, Major Vitality Essence. I know there's a monster that has it, and I'm trying to max them out, so I'm going to keep that. Uh, let's see. Honestly, the Thunder Mask, I just leveled it up. Again, I just think it's useful to have one of everything, but I don't really care for it. Um, I'm pretty sure... Level up. I also, like, while these aren't the best, the Ice Breaking Sword, I like this one. No, I don't like any of them, to be honest. Well, this is useful. Like, you never know when that extra damage could come in handy. I think that's going to be it for now. Uh, like, realistically, I should probably just go through my... Through all of these and open... Open, like... 
open all 778 bronze relic rewards but i kind of want to save it for when i have a thousand and i can do this like grand unveiling video or live stream and that's what i'm waiting for but that's pretty much going to be it for this video oh guys ignore that that's pretty much going to be it for this video thank you all for watching i hope you enjoyed this little chest opening slash relic boost guide video best of luck to all of you in your monsters adventures and i will see you all next time